Beihai Tan Hydropower Project. In southwest China, along the Jinshao River, a tributary of the mighty Yachki, the Beihai Tan Hydropower Project is shaping up to be a powerhouse of epic proportions. With a colossal 16 gigawatt capacity, it's on track to become the world's second largest power station, following in the formidable footsteps of the Three Gorges Dam. Spanning the picturesque landscapes of Ningyang County in Sichuan and Qiajia County in Yunnan, this ambitious venture is more than just a project. It's a testament to engineering marvels. At its heart lies a massive concrete double curvature arch dam, standing proud with a crest elevation of 834 meters and a width of 13 meters. Diving deeper into the Bay Haitan project reveals two underground powerhouses strategically positioned on the left and right banks of the dam. Each of these powerhouses is set to house eight 1,000 megawatt Francis turbines, proudly made on home turf in China. Not just a static structure, the Bay Haitan Dam is fortified with six floodgate structures and three spillway tunnels, ready to harness the untamed energy of the Jinsha River. In the bustling heart of Jinan Central Business District in Shandong, China, the Greenland Shandong International Financial Center is steadily taking shape as a super tall skyscraper. Soaring to a remarkable height of 428 meters, this architectural marvel is poised to claim its spot among the tallest skyscrapers in Shandong province upon completion. This 103-story mixed-use tower isn't just about height, it's a showcase of ingenuity in both design and function. Employing cutting-edge structural systems and analysis techniques, the tower achieves both efficiency and economy. With five below-ground stories and an eight-story podium boasting a ballroom and conference facilities, it's a fusion of practicality and grandeur. Crowning the top of the tower is a unique crystal crown, resembling a four-petal yellow osmanthus flower. This distinctive feature isn't just for aesthetics. It houses a helipad and a hanging structure for the tuned mass damper, held together by eight mega columns at the perimeter and flange walls at the center. However, the tower's journey faced a pause in mid-2022. Construction, having reached ground level, came to a halt due to financial challenges experienced by the building's owners. Zungin, as of 2024, the tower stands incomplete, and there's no word on when or if construction will resume. International Land Sea Center Soaring to a staggering height of 458.2 meters, the International Land Sea Center is set to claim the title of the tallest completed building in 2024, securing its place among the world's top 20 skyscrapers. Surprisingly, China dominates the skyline race, with eight out of the 10 tallest buildings finishing construction in 2024 located within its borders, while the other two rises in Dubai and Cairo. Designed by Khan Pendersen Fox as part of an ambitious 11th hour master plan, the International Land Sea Center is a colossal 98-story structure that promises to transform Chongqing's downtown landscape positioned along the banks of the Yasuki River. This architectural marvel is not just a landmark. A major train line will pass directly through the building base, symbolizing the seamless integration of modernity with the city's dynamic pulse. China Philharmonic Concert Hall China is embarking on yet another mega project, and this time it's the awe-inspiring Beijing China Philharmonic Concert Hall. Destined to become the permanent residence of the prestigious China Philharmonic Orchestra, the massive 26,000-square-meter structure is poised to redefine the landscape of classical music and cultural exchange when it wraps up construction later this year. Situated on the lively south side of the Worker Stadium in Beijing, the project aims to carve out an oasis of tranquility amid the hustle and bustle. The surroundings feature a carefully crafted lotus pond and lush greenery, creating a serene atmosphere. The building itself boasts a unique curved facade, 
resembling a translucent white curtain that gracefully filters and diffuses daylight. Crafted from embossed glazed glass panels, the facade cleverly gives the appearance of a white exterior while welcoming natural light into the interior spaces. A clever lighting system, strategically placed on the main and longitudinal steel structures, enhances the ethereal glow of the facade, creating a mesmerizing sight from a distance. Beyond its aesthetic appeal, the concert hall is designed for functionality. It houses a grand concert hall with a seating capacity of 1600, arranged in a vineyard style, along with multiple rehearsal spaces spread across two floors. The acoustics are optimized by curved wooden walls, while white sound reflection panels, inspired by the lotus flower, contribute to a delightful music experience. The thoughtful arrangement of elements ensures that sound is evenly distributed across the stage and the entire auditorium, promising a harmonious and immersive musical journey for all. Junking Center under construction in Wenzhou, China, the Zhengqing Center is another soaring skyscraper that is set to redefine the city skyline, rising to an impressive height of 339 meters. This landmark project commenced construction in 2019 and is on track for completion in 2024. As the tallest office building in both Wenzhou and the entire Zhejiang province, upon its finish, the Zhengqing Center is poised to deliver a world-class experience for residents and visitors alike. The center will be a mixed-use development, including office space, a hotel, and residential apartments. The building will also feature several amenities, including a sky garden, a swimming pool, and a fitness center. It incorporates several sustainable design elements, including rainwater harvesting, gray water recycling, and high-performance building materials. Unfortunately, the exact price tag for the Zhengqing Center's construction has not been officially disclosed. However, considering its scale, complexity, and innovative features, it could be around 600 to 700 million. The UXZ Global Financial Center Soaring over 300 meters high, the UXZ Global Financial Center presents a panoramic view of Wuhan, encompassing an expansive 210,000 square meters of floor space. This development is a key component of the UXZ International Financial Center initiative, envisioned by Foster & Partners. The overarching goal of this initiative is to craft a vibrant and permeable urban district, breathing new life into the heart of the city. A noteworthy feature of the UXZ Global Financial Center is its ventilated double glazed curtain walls, not only elevating the building's aesthetic allure, but also offering an energy efficient solution. Designed with eco-friendliness in mind, the structure incorporates various green initiatives. Currently in the construction phase, the building is slated for completion in 2024, promising to be a sustainable and visually striking addition to Wuhan skyline. MYSE 18 by 28 Turbine Project Ming Yang, the Chinese energy company, has unveiled its latest offshore wind turbine. The MYSE 18 by 28 set to become its flagship model. This colossal generator, equivalent in height to a 70-floor building and spanning an area akin to nine football fields, features impressive 140-meter-long blades anchored on a rotor with a diameter exceeding 280 meters. Standing too close to this towering wind turbine during its swift rotations might result in an unexpectedly windy experience. The sheer scale of the MYSC 18 by 28 is matched by its capability to generate 80 gigawatts electricity annually, based on an average wind speed of 8.5 meters per second. This formidable output is sufficient to power 96,000 residents while simultaneously reducing CO2 emissions by a noteworthy 66,000 tons. Ming Yang takes pride in the turbine's modular and lightweight design, a testament to the company's commitment to advancing hybrid drive technology through comprehensive upgrades and research. Highlighted by Ming Yang, these wind turbines boast several key features, including high power generation capacity, modular structures, efficient power transmission, quality power output, resilience against typhoons, effective ceiling, superior heat dissipation, corrosion resistance to fog, easy transportation and hoisting, and overall cost effectiveness. Kella Power Station China started building the Kella Power Station to help reach the global goal of carbon neutrality by 2060. 
This hydroelectric power plant covers a massive 16 million square meters in the Sichuan region. The project began in 2016 when the Design and Research Institute of Power China Chengdu kicked it off. Construction officially began in 2022, facing challenges as the station is on a mountain complex in Yajian County, 4,600 meters above sea level. Engineers had to design it to withstand storms, blizzards, and all kinds of weather. Despite the initial difficulties, about a year later, the Kella power plant started producing power. The hydroelectric station can generate 1 million kilowatts, producing enough energy around 2 billion kilowatts annually to meet the needs of about 700,000 households each year. The project also has a big impact on China's economy. According to construction project manager Yang Jui, the energy produced is like using 600,000 tons of coal, reducing carbon dioxide emissions by a whopping 1.6 million tons. As we embark on this journey through 2024, one thing is clear. This year holds the promise of transformation and progress in China. What do you think will be the most important project? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe for more updates on the projects that will shape our future. Thanks for joining us today. And until next time, stay curious and stay informed.